Oh, baby, we have actually made it. The end of Water 7 and any sloppy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 324 and 325 of our One Piece Watch today. And if I'm not mistaken, this is it for the Water 7 saga. Now, similar to Skype, yeah, I will have like a full review out, out on the non-reaction channel. Maybe probably separating Water 7 and any sloppy. I have no idea yet. But either way, I have enjoyed the heck out of it. Easily my favorite arc slash saga thus far. Far, but I don't think that'd be a very unpopular opinion based on how, how much you guys like Water 7. And I mean, by this point, the story has built up this crazy amount to where we know the characters and whatnot, and it's just fleshing out, them out more and more. But today, hopefully we get more details about our crew's new ship and how everything works, all the features on board, and I guess just how Frankie's gonna get along with everybody being a part of the crew now, which I think he will. I mean, he already knows all of them. We're gonna hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big wood bell, and let's get started. So we had the going Mary. Is this the going lion? We don't have a ship name. I guess that's not priority. Priority is escaping Luffy's grandfather. <laughs> I still think he's throwing, he's missing on purpose. He knows exactly how to not hit them. I feel like he has that much control over his hands. All the water seven cheering them on. You got any bells or whistles that could help us out here, Frankie? You know the ship better than anybody. Wait, furling like to fight? Surely not. Why would they not just keep running? Oh, no, Frankie does have a plan. He's got something hidden on the ship that he's the one he wants to show off already. Aw, the gang's back together and my heart is full. <laughs> Frankie just fits so well, like I said, because they've been through so much together already. Hey, that's what I said. It's, I feel like it's going to have something lion in the title. He's just kicking all of them. Oh my gosh, I'm so five head. That sounds strong. Poor bear lion? What? Are we really naming it right now? Where are these names even coming from? I feel like Frankie should name it. I cannot believe I was on the right track. That's a nice sunflower. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does look like a sunflower, to be fair. Sea filled with savage beasts. It's like a bright beam of light. I like that. I do like that. Hmm. It's gorgeous. Yeah. He didn't even think of it like that. He just thought he was like, it's a cool lion. Did he already come up with the name? Fit for a pirate king. Wait, was there three on the other side? Thousand Sunny. That sounds powerful, bro. I like it. <laughs> Boss Lionel. That's kind of cool, too. Dark Robin. What? Monsieur. Thousand Sunny. Cross a thousand oceans. I like that. That's so cool. That's so cozy. Oh, wait. Frankie has his own. Maybe not. New Battle Frankie Lion Game Champion. Oh, my. Sunny. It's like Mary and Sunny. Aw. <laughs> the secret weapon? Is that what they're doing? Is that what that giant thing is on the back i thought it was like a nitrous oh oh so it's not a weapon it is to get them away is he gonna say bye did he forget how meppo's name oh <laughs> bro didn't get a shout out see i'm saying goodbye while i still can well what do we got frankie oh dang oh dang dude the soundtrack's getting serious Dude, what a crew. What a crew. <laughs> Aww. Dude, I hope we see Iceberg again someday too. I love that man. Thousand Sunny. What a great name. Cross a thousand seas as a beam of light. Emergency accelerator with an air cannon? Oh my gosh. Wait, is it expanding? Whoa, it's a, where did he even get that from? That doesn't even make sense. It just appeared! Oh my god! Okay, guys, I said Garp was messing around. He ain't messing around anymore. This one will hit them no matter where he throws it. This one will hit Alabasta, bro. Frankie? Frankie? Could it burst? It is a nitrous! Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Look at him go, dude! They're zooming away! 
Oh, Kobe's so happy. Even Aokiji had to wake up from his nap to see that bad boy go. Aww. Dude, it's already flying, man. What a great way to bring the ship in. Just to fly it already. Poor Mary went through so many of those. <laughs> For real. Good times. Ah, I miss Mary. I can imagine so. If it was made with the wood that it was made of? Aww. So will this ship have a, what was it called? A clubouter man? Will it have one of those as well eventually? Let's see the features. I want to see everything it has. But imagine so, because like the club Outerman is like the, the soul of a ship, right? It's like, but it's it's the more love that goes into a ship. Dog, where did the ball go? I'm so confused. Where does it appear from? Where does it go? Oh, I knew he was just messing around. Oh, and that's it. We're leaving water seven. Damn, just like that. I'm glad the giants have a place to be though. Oh yeah, he did say he would go to Elbaf. 300 years, wow. Now what? So what happened to all of CP9? I'm guessing that like most of them died. I don't know. The whole island was on fire. So I'd assume they all died. It all started with Arlong all the way back then where we don't even know if they die or not. At least the uh, crocodile, we got some closure how the government took him and he was kind of like reprimanded. For work? Aww. He's hiring them. New bro. <laughs> I mean, basically that's Iceberg and Frankie. God dang, dude. I'm Glad we get some closure with that. They're not totally lost spirits. An island in the Grand Line. Oh, here we go. Smoker! Shirtless smoker. He just caught a 50 mil. Oh, shoot, Tashigi too. She's still with him. Oh my gosh, she thought he was smoker? Well, smoker's a unit. He's still so interesting to me. I'm surprised Smoker isn't a higher ranking with how powerful he seems to be. They're making a name for themselves for real now, man. I still don't believe him. Baratier! Oh my gosh, Chef! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Dude, this is so wholesome. <laughs> I'm glad to see they're all doing well, man. Blackfoot Sanji. I hope so too. He's taking after Redfoot Zeph. Oh shoot! Luffy's hometown? Dang, dude. Our Luffy. Dang, everybody's finding out. I love these episodes where you get a look around the world at what's happening. Chopper's 50. A cute pet. Oh, now you have. What is Garb doing? <laughs> you got that right. Dadon? Dadon? Daddy? Who's Dadon? Oh, shoot, Sir Village? They know. They. Oh, shoot. Dude. Oh, my gosh. It's so fitting that they don't know that it's Usopp, but they know it's Usopp by the nose. They're gonna recreate the Soka King mask. He's like a superhero. Become a doc. I'm glad Kaya's doing well too. Everybody seems to be doing okay. Oh my gosh, Zoro's too. God dang, dude. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't look up to him because he's a pirate. Oh goodness gracious. He just taught him to become a good swordsman. <laughs> Troublesome alums. Facts. That's kind of how like Tom felt about building ships. Oh my gosh, even Kogoyashi. God dang, dude. Seeing Nojiko and like getting like high def is weird. To complain about what? About her having a bounty? <laughs> it's too inappropriate. I, again, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's a great photo. Wait, yeah. Why did he make a giant version? then they're keeping the dream alive she's smiling yeah mm -hmm. they're like famous now man it's cool i mean they already had sort of a name for themselves but now they're all famous <gasps> sakura kingdom that's what they oh that's what they named it that's beautiful oh my gosh giga chat dalton is back too oh my goodness she's gonna see that chopper as a bounty is he the king oh my gosh i don't blame them <laughs> wait for it oh <laughs> 
I hope she can just give him one big hug again one day. Alabasta, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a good question. They're all shocked. Where's Vivi? Yeah. No, I think she'll be happy. She knows they're living the dream. Kadu! Dude, did Kadu get bigger? My goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm glad he's doing well too. I can't believe he's alive, by the way. Still. God dang right. Based Vivi. Oh, we got to check in with like everyone, man. And everybody's doing good. Land of White Sword. Baltigo. <gasps> Dragon? Oh, shoot. In the midst of war. Wait, he's, he even sees. Yeah. Oh. oh, and the entire thing in his lobby. He's going to have a smile on his face. I know it. What are their helmets? 667 and 50. Hmm, really? The grandson of Garp, huh? This place looks kind of cool. Their little hideout. Oh. Oh, my. He does have a smile. Monkey D Dragon, baby. The most, most heinous criminal. God dang, dude. Whew. I need to write down the name of that place. This wall is about to get a lot bigger, to say the least. Our group is getting so big, man. Dude, it's so cool having Frankie as a part of the crew. Hell yeah. <sighs> On the next adventure. And there we have it. That is, I, 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 I know there's one more episode. I'm guessing sort of maybe teasing what's next, but I know there is a filler arc after this and before the next arc. So I don't know if the next episode is going to fill in uh, even more about people finding out, maybe some more lore. I can only wish for so much more. I mean, this was a very satisfying episode to watch, but either way, let's get it. Episode 325. In the flow of time as a result of various circumstances and strong spirits, people come to question the world they live in. God dang, dude, dragon speaks in like i don't know that's that's i can't tell if that's like a good thing or bad thing i figured he would be proud that luffy's done this because he's leading a revolution against the government i believe they for real are i like the little canopy and the thing on the very back that's kind of like a match of it god dang baby we got blackbeard shot too where are they he's looking kind of spiffy he's got like a new coat oh he's with them again too he was the one that went and tried to put his name in the bucket for warlord are they near them oh no way dude the doc is not doing well but i don't think he seems to ever be doing well dude i nerd out when i get to see blackbeard's crew yeah he, that is a new coat that looks nice he's looking he's looking nice <gasps> ah! oh no deals me away what are you doing i knew he was looking for him but oh no not like this where is this the wild west Oh my gosh, an event that occurred on a certain island? Banero. Oh no. Oh no! Brother, I said this last one would wrap up the arc, but... <sighs> and Shanks was worried about Ace getting to Blackbeard too, because I think he either wants to find him himself or he's worried about Ace. Oh, dude, he's been looking for him this whole time to get revenge. Oh, bro, this is Blackbeard's crew. There's no way he can 1v4. Ain't no way. Or 1v5. Aren't there five of them, including Blackbeard? Oh, shoot. Dude, this is, this is nuts. <laughs> twice as much as the others? Nani? <laughs> Space! Dude, ain't no way. I can't tell if Blackbeard is like villainous, but I don't think Ace would work for him. I think he has some standards being a part of Whitebeard's crew. You cannot say you're going to kill Luffy, bro. <laughs> I don't think he understands. Oh, no, you made such a mistake. At least he just went out and tell, told him. Yeah, now, now you just made it even worse. The bullet just go through him. He is fire incarnate, right? You can't just shoot a hole in him, man. You're gonna... I don't know what you're doing today. He's gonna bucket of water. True. That was kind of shameless. Fire gun? He just shoots it from his fingertips. Oh, God damn. We got a throw down. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Keep out of this. 
He wants the 1v1. I swear there was another one. Am I tripping? Okay, maybe he can 1v4. Blackbeard, you're disappointing on another level, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Or Ace is just insanely cracked. Probably the latter. <laughs> he said, come join my crew. We'll kill Luffy. <laughs> At least he's like tucking and rolling. Like he knows exactly what to do with fire. We're trying to fan it off of him. This is kind of pathetic, Blackbeard. Ain't no way bro's already lost. I don't want to necessarily cheer against Blackbeard, but I mean, he is trying to kill Luffy. God, Ace is so cool. <laughs> As he gets up from like being burned, you think you've won? Well, yeah, you said you'd kill his brother. Okay, so, yeah, you know why. Thatch, that's who he killed. I don't know if that's important, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, dang, but Thatch snatched it. It was for a devil fruit. Damn. Wait, was he right to kill Thatch then? Dang. Yeah, did he get the devil fruit? It depends what it was he did oh so what's the power if he studied like one devil fruit in particular all right let's see it oh it's logia oh my it's kind of like smoke what are you made out of oh my gosh it's just darkness dude darkness logia okay i need to see some application that it's kind of i mean like fire makes sense right you just burn stuff but darkness like does it destroy does it just break things away that's kind of cool though and it matches the fit too i like the sound effect it's making too the most evil power he's kind of cementing himself as a villain then dark dark fruit all right let's see it wonder if he's gonna i mean ace seems very confident i wonder if he'll catch him off guard though with how powerful it is <laughs> oh my God. come on doc is he like a new bro get up horsey i think ace is is ready and willing to find out is that a ball of light bro made a spirit bomb He's like, I'm not impressed thus far, Blackbeard. The darkness just like spreads throughout the land. That's super cool, actually. That's pretty badass. Very menacing, too. God, these poor townspeople, man. They really do just go places and destroy everything. That's what happened on Drum Island. Darkness is gravity. Even a ray of light. Oh my gosh, it fits so well because the new Thousand Sunny is like the biggest beam of light. I'm kind of worried now. Oh, he's just kind of flexing. Oh my god, dude. It just sucks everything in. Ace still is not that impressed. I mean, if he studied this fruit and like actively sought it out, you know he wasn't making a mistake by taking it. Like he knew what he was getting into and how powerful it would be. How do they have fruits on record though? Like without other people having had it first. Like you said, you read up on it. Oh my God. We're not, we're halfway through the episode too. I'm such a sucker for Blackbeard A screen time though, man. The fact that there's only one of these episodes and then it's just a big filler arc and then I guess whatever's next. I'm assuming this is just done and done then. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Dude, it's just swallowing it. The, the levels of it, it's like, it reminds me of Aokiji, how it's just insanely widespread, how Aokiji throws so much to the ocean. He can do this with just such a, a on a large scale. And the most strong Devil Fur users seem to be able to do things on an immaculate scale like that. He just sucked in the old town. These poor people, man. All right, what's Ace thinking now? Is he a little worried at least? Like, how do you counter darkness besides light? We're gonna need a flashlight, flashlight fruit. God dang, dude. Blackbeard just became like 20 times more badass. And then he can shoot it out. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, you guys got some of your stuff back. It's purposefully not showing what Ace is thinking or his face right now, though. Bro's hair looks like Gones. Oh. What is that? Is it light? <gasps> oh, shoot. He set off like little mines around him. But he just did this entire like expose, just big presentation. This light will burn through. Yeah, true. Like he would be the embodiment of darkness. Is he just letting it hit him? Wait, it just like swallowed the flames off of him. The black hole did. 
Also, he draws everything in that hits him. Oh my. <laughs> that kind of sucks, Blackbeard. I'm not going to lie. In exchange for that risk, he has more power. Oh my gosh. Dude, how does Ace just stand there and watch? No, the hat! Oh, shoot! Ain't no way. He lets him get caught like this. Oh, God! Damn! Never in my life did I think I'd see someone hit Ace like that. Okay, maybe he got a little too cocky. I No, I, I don't think it's even cockiness. Yeah, I was going to say, first time someone's landed a punch on him. I don't think it's even cockiness. He just wants to see the full extent of what Blackbeard is. What? It drags... What? Oh, he disables their powers? Oh my gosh. That's why he was able to hit him. That makes so much more sense. If he's in contact, then it won't go right through him. Dude. Dude, that is menacing. Oh my gosh. Bro, Ace is getting clapped. Oh, never mind. How are they just gonna throw this fight on me on the very last episode? There's some goddamn monsters. Oh, they're like stabbed in him. He has to absorb them. Yeah, for real. It's so cool though. God, he's so menacing, and now it's so much more menacing. The power was scary as is, but the fact that he absorbs in your power, so like, it just completely nerfs you if he's in contact with you is even more. It's no wonder he picked this one. <laughs> This whole place is gonna flatten, guys. To put up a crazy fight, yeah. Makes you wonder how strong Whitebeard himself is. Surely it shows us the conclusion of this. It doesn't just tease whatever happens and just leaves it up to the imagination, right? Dang, Ace, Ace is getting clapped. I think in a straight up 1v1, Ace loses this, which is not something I would have said before this episode. We just didn't know enough about Blackbeard. Dude, wow, I can't believe he's actually asking him again. But he does know how powerful, he's like respecting how powerful he is. Ain't no way. Damn, Spin, that is cold! Now the question is, do Shanks and Whitebeard know how powerful Blackbeard is? How powerful he's become? Oh no. God damn! The scale of fire, it burns through the darkness. It's beautiful. That is so cool, man. Dang. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, this island is done, though. It's like a wall straight up in the middle. Uh, decisive battle, Banner Island. What just obliterated it? Oh, shoot. God dang, dude. What a bang to end off Water 7. Bro, I thought we were going to have some nice closure and whatnot. Just some chill stuff. Oh, we got goddamn Ace versus Blackbeard. Oh, so, well, now, now we know how powerful he is Um, and, and why he's, uh, I guess, to be feared and why Shanks and Whitebeard even brought him up. A power that rivals probably any Anyone, the fact that he can disable a, a devil fruit power i say that rivals anyone because that has been sort of the, the common theme with the logia users it's just like how do you hit them it's been very difficult up until now i mean we even saw it with ace right away he got shot and he was just like oh well yeah you can't do that with me can't do that with smoker either but blackbeard is straight up just like the the almighty counter to that blackbeard is to literally every logia type as luffy was to enaru but damn what a, a very ominous ending saying that was the trigger to a massive event uh, that's going to occur i guess later on but that's it we have finished the water seven saga any slobby and all i hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction to it i just fall more and more in love with the series as the episodes go by and we are we're not even a third of the way in like it's just uh, we're, it feels like we're just getting started honestly another member has joined we got a new ship we have a lot of new ground to cover if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell so you don't miss any of the rest of the adventure and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace